Okay guys, so today we're going to show you how to fit the bonnet scoop on an R56. So obviously we'll show you how to remove it, how to refit it, etc. Uh, we do these in gloss black, matte black and carbon lock, so this is obviously a variation. Uh, today we're going to fit this one which we've got for a customer which is forged carbon, but it's exactly the same fitment. Uh, you can have it with or without the mesh and we'll go on to show you how to do that as well. This is a cross head. So you've got a little cross head screw there, which is just going to come out like that. I'll be careful obviously not to drop that in the body. You can get it so far, as you'll see, and it's like a push clip. So you can see there, you just unscrew it to that far and get it down. So once you've got that down, now today it's pretty cold over here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to warm it. So basically you've got all the clips there. And what we find is if you warm that up with just some nice hot water, it just releases the clips a little bit better on those. So we'll just do that. Makes it a bit messy, but it just stops anything from breaking. If obviously, if it's if you're doing this in summer, you'll be fine. Uh, but with it being quite cold today, we're just going to warm it up just to make sure nothing snaps. So that's on that. And basically, first of all, you're just going to try lifting it like that. And we'll see. It's a bit harder on the bottom. And there we go. So that's that. Now you'll see on these, all these clips here have got to be transferred. Now you can see that one's already broken. And then we've got them all the way around. So you can see on that one, it's stuck in there. You will have to just check that they're all basically the same as that. And we're going to remove that one now. So on this scoop, you've got, you can see, half, only half of it's cut out. I think that's the JCW. On the two press, that's completely blocked off. So on the new one, you can see it's fully open. So you can choose to fit that to the new scoop, or obviously you can have it fully open. So obviously some people choose to have it like that, some people choose to put this mesh on and it's simply just a matter of swapping the screws over to that one there so we'll get that one screwed up now and then we'll go from there okay so there's this little bracket this is the bit everyone seems to struggle with so what that's got to do is it's got to go there so you can pop the scoop on at the end and obviously it's got to go that way so you can see the nut is on the top and the bracket is underneath so the bolt's going to go through and just make sure that that's going to line up so I'm just going to screw that onto there and then obviously we're going to make sure it fits bang in the middle of there. It might need a little, like say some people have said, oh that's a bend that down a little bit and stuff like that. Obviously, depending where it sits there, it should just pull through on the bracket. So we'll get that screwed on and we'll go from there. Right guys, so this is the bit that I've found is the bit of, it comes on a right angle like that. So obviously, I presume it's like that because you can't get this screw in without it being like that but obviously once you put that on there you can just about see you can see that it's not fitted so what you've got to do is you've got to bend that bracket now back over the screw until you get the correct sitting on there you can see it's just about that and we'll just do a tiny bit more and then we can see through the hole there that that's lining up you probably can't see it on there but it basically that bolt hole is lining up with the hole on the bonnet there so next job is the original clip so on these they use the original clips off your original scoop which is those ones so all you're gonna do is get those and slide them in there basically like that We'll go round and do all five and then we'll carry on. Okay, so we've got all the clips in. Now, obviously it's critical. But what you're gonna do is, one comes around that side, and make sure all them clips line up. So obviously you can see where they seat in the holes. So you can see that one there, because I just want pushing in a tiny bit more. So you can see them three go in the holes. That one just wants lifting over there, that one's in, and that one's in. And then at that point, you can clip it down. Okay, so we've got it all clipped in. It's softly clipped in, basically, on those push clips. And then the last thing to go in, that bracket that I showed you, so obviously if any of the clips fail, it's not going to fly off uh, when you're doing excessive speeds. So what you've got to do is you've got to get that up through there and into the bolt. 
which is just there. And then obviously that's your fail safe to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. And that's it guys, so that's all fitted. There we go guys, so obviously there it is fitted. Uh, we don't actually sell this one because it's a forged carbon one. The ones that we sell are the black plastic ones, which we're doing gloss black, matte black and carbon look. You can get these on our website, www.kilochrome.com. Keep liking, subscribing, sharing, etc. Hope you like the video.